Samuel was a judge over Israel. When he was old, Samuel chose his sons, Joel and Abijah, to be judges. There was a problem though. Joel and Abijah were not good judges like their father. Joel and Abijah were unfair and dishonest. The leaders of Israel went to Samuel. You were a good judge, they said, but your sons have not followed your example. We don't want them to lead us. We want a king like the nations around us. Samuel wasn't sure how to respond, so he prayed to God. God said, Samuel, they're not rejecting you. They're rejecting me as king. Give them what they want, but make sure you warn them what it will be like to have an earthly king. Samuel explained to the Israelites what rights an earthly king would have. A king could make their son serve in the army, he could make their daughters work for him, or he could take away their fields and servants. Samuel warned that the people would regret asking for a king, but the Israelites didn't care. Give us a king, they said. So God told Samuel to give the people what they wanted. Then Samuel told the leaders of Israel to go back to their cities and wait for a king. One day, a man named Saul came to Samuel. Saul was tall and handsome. He was looking for his father's missing donkeys. Samuel invited Saul to have dinner with him. He told Saul that his family would be important to everyone in Israel. Saul didn't understand. He wasn't from a big family. His tribe, the tribe of Benjamin, was the smallest tribe in Israel. Still, Samuel gave Saul the best spot at his dinner table. The next morning, Samuel poured oil on Saul's head. You will be king, Samuel said. Samuel gave Saul some instructions and sent him home to wait for the right time to start ruling over the Israelites. The Spirit of God was with Saul. God intended for a heavenly king to rule over Israel, but the Israelites did not trust God's plan. They wanted a king like the nations around them. God had a better plan to eventually send his son, Jesus, to be the perfect king forever.